I've been looking up to John Hill ever since I first saw him in, I think, an Andy Shrug video. And I look up to him not only because of his crazy, absolute pro-level skating, But I also look up to his work ethics with his YouTube channels and you know managing the brands that he has. But today we are going to focus on his skating because he released a video talking about 10 tricks that he would never get good at in skateboarding. And while I did expect some of these tricks because we don't really see him do some of them often. Some of them he actually can do. I don't know why he has it on this list but he explains that in the video. You can check it out in the link down below. But I was very surprised when I found out that I actually did one of these tricks before him. One is a switch double 360 flip. This one I've never done. I've never gotten anywhere close and I honestly might not ever be able to land it. I actually landed the switch 360 double flip completely randomly because we were just having a skate session at the skate park and I was practicing switch tray flips. It's a trick I really want to get good at. It's still a struggle but I was practicing that trick and then my friend just kind of said try to like double flip it and I was like what that is never gonna work but yeah somehow I ended up getting this at the end of the Instagram clip you're about to watch. So yeah, I did land it. That's the only one I've done and it was super sketchy. But it's one of those tricks where I was actually really close on the first try, just kind of messing around and my friends were like, well, now you gotta do it. And then you just, you get into it kind of deep and it's not even close, but I ended up rolling away from that. So I was fine with it. But it is a trick that I feel like I could do. My friend Am Skater has actually done one and the way he did it made it look so easy. And I do Switch 360 flips all the time. What's so hard about making it flip? One more time, everything. John has a very good point here because I definitely think he can do it, but he really has to separate it from a regular switch 360 flip. That made no sense. You really have to separate the two because they're completely different. The switch tray flip all in the back foot, the switch tray double all in the front foot. If you take a close look at it in super slow motion, the one I landed, I barely even tried to pop shove it. I just really tried to like scoop it to get it up into my front foot and then just crazy flick out there. And that actually helped the board get around. And he mentions ducks one up the bank, which is a completely different thing. I think that would be way easier. You could just kind of chill it and think of like a switch barrel flip and let it keep flipping. That's normally how I think for it in regular. But yeah, I'm sure John, he could get this trick in the future, but there were more tricks on this list of 10 tricks he couldn't really do. So I thought I'd go ahead and try some of them or actually all of them. Let's just get into it. Let's start off with trick number one, the one that is the nightmare to my existence, back 360s. I don't know what it is, but there is a lock in my head that doesn't allow me to spin this trick. I'm not even kidding. When I try to do a back 180, I spin more than I do when I actually try to do a back 360. Trying to spin more makes me spin less. That's how bad my brain doesn't understand spins. For the longest time, my backside 360s on flat ground kind of looked like John Hill's, but actually learning it up stuff or down stuff really, really helps. So I don't think it's at the point on flat ground where I want it to be, but it's way better than half a year ago. I think John could easily figure this one out going off like a small drop or off a kicker. Especially if it's a kind of spot where you can go super slow and just like do 270s without any risk because that really helps build the confidence for this trick. The next trick he struggles with is something that I really resonate with. Now randomly there are days when I can hard flip decently down stuff, but I've never had a day where I could hard flip well on flat, never in my life. There will be days where I will land 20 to 30 of these tricks and by the end of the day I'm worse at the trick. I used to do them basically more like a front shove and then with a little bit of a kickflip so it was so horizontal but I don't really like the way that looked and that's why lately I'm trying really to get not a full like musket flip but I want to get it more vertical. 
I'm pleased with the one I got in the session, but I've been skating for so many hours that day, so I just took the first one, and the landing may not have been perfectly clean. Next one is a late flip. I don't care actually even now to really learn this. You know what? I do want to learn this trick because I like the way back 180 late flips look. I like how half cab late flips look. Now these are Johnny Geiger specialty, but it's just something that I cannot comprehend. And hopefully I will eventually, but this video is called 10 tricks that I will never be able to learn. So who knows? I think I had a session once where I tried to land an Ollie late back foot flip and I spent like two hours on it and I got one where I flipped it halfway and it was just a devastating session so I haven't really returned to the trick. I do late flips from like shove it or I have this like half pressure flip late front foot half flip which is a really fun one but it's just like goofy easy stuff because I'm not ollieing and then doing it. I really gotta learn that in the future but for right now I don't think it's looking so good. The trick after that is forward flip. The reason I didn't learn it early on is because a lot of older people told me it was a really whack trick. There's no reason I should learn it. Part of me kind of regrets it because it's such a unique trick that I feel like it would have opened up a different bag of tricks which you know I still have time to learn. I've never been a barrel flip hater. I've actually kind of loved barrel flips throughout my entire time of skateboarding. So that's why I think this trick is so difficult for me. I can flick it out there easily if I'm not like committing to the trick. But I once spent two days trying to land one on flat and it went kind of like this. So yeah, I wouldn't count any of those. Unlike the Ollie late flip, I think I can learn that in the future. I just gotta figure out the technique. But for this one, no, I don't think I'll ever do a proper forward flip. Switch double heel flip. I don't know why. I can't get the board to flip. I did one recently actually in Texas, but it took so much energy. I even messaged my friend Bevup, who has done a switch triple heel flip, and he tried to give me some advice, and it just, I, I just need to practice it more. That's all. John has a really good switch heel, so I don't get why it's so difficult for him. I think you just gotta figure out the technique to it and then it's probably gonna be really easy for him. It's always kind of been like a mess round trick for me because I also feel pretty comfortable at switch heels. It's not really a trick that takes any effort, I just kind of stand kind of whatever and then I normally can fling it out there. So a switch double heel, just a bit more flick and then yeah. Normally I can do it cleaner, but as I said, I've been skating the entire day and I honestly do have a problem with the hot pocket on my uh, right foot, so that's the switch flicking foot. So it, it did hurt a little bit, but it was alright and I just had to accept the last one I landed. The next one is laser flip, just hands down laser flip is such a hard trick for me and the same thing. I've done all of them in every stance, but it takes me so many tries, it's like a Hail Mary and I just get kind of lucky. Fakie is definitely the easiest one I've done in the past, but laser flips, that's one that's just going to scar me for a long time. Laser flip is such a cool looking trick, so hopefully I can also get this in the future, but definitely the regular one is just so difficult. The switch laser, you can kind of scoop it more, but once again, it is kind of like a Hail Mary, as John Hill says, and the only one I can do sometimes is the Nolly laser. I actually think I got one for my next part at this like really mellow street hip. I think that was really clean and a really good feeling to it but it's also because it's on a hip so you kind of have to under rotate it and I feel like that gives you more control. When it's on flat ground, yeah, it's just, it's not easy. Well, the next one is a frontside 360 kickflip. Truth be told, I've never actually tried this trick 100%, like tried to do a good one. I always do these joking, terrible ones on flats but my brain doesn't really understand how I would be able to do it because front 360s are hard enough on flat. But maybe eventually, but after watching Greg Lutzka do one, I'm just like, I, how, how did he do it like that? I gotta give John props just to be able to do what he did on flat ground there. Going very slow, but he did do a fun little frontside 360 kickflip. 
The next one is a switch inward heel. The same thing with inward heel as the forward flip. A lot of people told me growing up that it was a whack trick, so I didn't bother learning them. And then now I feel like they're cool. Those and hard flips I really like. I can actually do them fakie, regular, and nollie. It's just switch. For some reason my brain doesn't comprehend it and the board doesn't like to spin. It just flips. I actually used to have this trick, but I don't think I've done it in... Oh man, that's gotta be a couple of years. I learned nolly inward heels basically by placing my my flick foot like on the actual tail and then I would just do a nolly pop shove it and flick out there. And I can kind of do the same thing with switch inward heels. It was maybe one out of three I landed them, but I could do it and I, I really gotta relearn that even though I think it's a trick that you kind of fall on a lot learning, so that's why I'm not really eager to learn it again. But yeah, I can, as John Hill also says, do it in the other stances, regular, fagy and nollie, and it, it's really easier in those stances, I don't get why. Switch frontside flips. I'm not mad at them. I actually didn't mind the ones that I did earlier that you're watching right now. I felt like they felt pretty good. But when I watch Frankie Villani do one down a stair set and it tweaks in such a cool way, mine kind of rock it the other way. His goes like this, mine are like this. And I think that's the part that I can't really figure out. I don't know if I ever will. I don't really need to, but it would be nice because I think it looks so freaking spicy. I think John's look pretty good, but I can definitely also get what he's saying. If you look at Frank Vlani's, you know, you're always gonna look down on your own skating. I couldn't really do it today because of the hot pocket I mentioned earlier, so this was the closest I got. But I do want to show you these switch frontside flips I did in the past because I'm really proud of those, the way I flicked it and caught it and, and rolled away on the last one. So hopefully I can get those back if I kind of recover from this hot pocket because I've had it for a few months now. It, it does make switch flips and nollie flips a little, little hard to get into on, on the skate sessions. I can do them, but especially on switch front set flips, I do a lot of flicking there. So that's why I haven't really gotten it in a long time now. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little video, me comparing the 10 tricks John Hill has a hard time doing with like my own skating. I don't really know why I did this video, maybe just to show off that I got a Switch 360 double flip, which is kind of a bad reason to make a video. But I just want to say thank you to you for watching and thanks to John Hill for putting out some really awesome skateboarding content here on YouTube. I really enjoy watching all of it and I might do more John Hill trick challenges on this channel in the future, who knows? But for this time I'm signing out, thank you so much for watching, peace guys.